to my tutorial on metafields that are ingested into Splunk. This one isn't really um, a metafield in and of itself. I, it, you just wouldn't it wouldn't do right to not discuss it. So when Splunk receives a log, it stores that log as a underscore raw. And when you search logs, every time you search for something, it's going to go look through the underscore raw. When you do a just a standard search such as index equals lane training, this is going to grab the first 100 raw logs. And you can see the raw log written is here. And if you want to see it displayed, you can just it typically does not show itself as a, a field, but it's always there. If you hit raw, that's your raw logs. And just so you're aware, that is how Splunk searches through a lot of your stuff. It's going to be looking through those raw things. There's some indexing that it will, it, there's some tricks it does to sort, uh, search through this faster. But as a general rule, Splunk will always come back with the raw logs. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to use it real quick to talk about for most fast, uh, fast mode. When you do fast mode, the only log that comes back is fast. Uh, in a different video, I might link the description below, we have a, you can use verbose mode, that'll bring back all the fields that the source type parses out. And so fast mode will always bring back the entire raw log, verbose will bring back the entire raw log and all of the fields parsed. That's the reason why verbose takes longer. It gives a lot more details, it's a little more human friendly, but if you're looking for speed, I highly recommend the fast mode, and it's just going to bring back that raw log. Um, raw, you don't search per se in raw. I mean, theoretically, I guess you could say raw equals. Um, I'm looking for. Let's go grab this amplify. I see that there's an amplify right here. I guess technically I could do something like this. But that's not how you're going to go search it. And it would help if I spelled it right and put all the other stuff in there. Because it needs a asterisk here as well. And there it comes back everything to do with Amplify. Again, you're not going to really search using the underscore raw field. It's you might as you can just as easily write something like that. And that's actually going to do the exact same thing. Um, so anyway, that's the, that's the raw log in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you liked it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope that I can be a part of your journey from becoming a lame Splunk analyst to a Splunk ninja.